I just gotta say this, man. I just realized that I used this poster for season one. So, oh well, right? So I'm gonna use it for season two. So yeah, season two, we see the effects after uh, season one. Uh, we have, they introduced to this new soup. We have Stormfront. Stormfront has these powers and it turns out that she's a Nazi. We figured that out at the end of the episode. She does not care. She's like really abrasive. She's up here going live on IG. She'll say certain things. She will expose you if she wants to. And yeah, it turns out she's like a hundred and some years old. And so, uh, yeah, and she was married to the head honcho at Vought, the guy that Vought is named after Frederick Vought. She was the first test subject of Vought. And they hid that in the back burner. And so that is found out at the end of the episode that she's a Nazi and she dies at the very end. I'm going to leave it right there. And so we have more story involving the boys, more stories involving Billy Butcher. You know, he finds, he eventually finds out where his wife Becca stand at. He goes there to see his wife. He wants his wife, his wife to leave her son and wants his wife to leave where she's being basically stationed at, right, at that Sit, sit secluded location in Vought that's like held up by like a bunch of uh was it people that work for Vought and so like I said Billy Butcher eventually knows where she's at wants her to leave and things like that but she refuses she does not want to leave her son she don't want to leave her son and mother's milk he's still along with Butcher you know, uh, they haven't, we basically haven't, we didn't see Butcher in season episode one until the very end of the episode. And so we see Mother's Milk, Huey, and Frenchie, they're going at it. They want more information, right? But we start seeing heads being blown off. We see Homelander, uh, well, we, we start to, yeah, we introduce to Victoria Newman. She's running for Congress. She's against the soups, but we figure out that she's a soup herself. She's the one that's causing all the blown up heads. So we have Compound V being known in the national light after Starlight exposed it. And so now Starlight is out of the seven. They hold her hostage in one of the buildings, right? But even, even before that happened, right? Starlight, you know, she's still working with She's working with the boys. She's still in relationship with Huey. Uh, Frenchie and Kimiko. Kimiko, we see her brother in the fray, right? Turn, but a storm front kills her brother. Throughout the season after that, Kimiko does not like Stormfront. She wants to kill her. I'm surprised they didn't have Kimiko kill her, you know, kill Stormfront, but oh well. Um Yeah, man, in all man, great show, man. Just like season one, you could say it's you know might be better than season one and so yeah I, i'm trying to remember if we have frederick no we have uh stan edgar right you all can't see it basically the black guy at the top right we have stan edgar who takes over as like the head guy at vaught after madeline stillwell and so we he we see him we we see homelander try to use his power and say, oh, things run through me now up until Stan Edgar puts his foot down and say, no, you report to me and tells him the information regarding Vaught and how he was made. And so, yeah, man, Homelander and Stormfront have this weird sexcapades relationship, man. They're in a national light. They're starting to being known. They're going out hugging and kissing, right? And so we've seen the public absorb that. And the public doesn't know all the stuff that Homelander has done. We see Homelander still is the the guy to the people, right? Really patriotic, right? Uh, but again, Billy Butcher and everybody else do not like him, do not like the other people in, uh, whatchamacallit, do not like the other people in Vought, do not like the rest of the seven. We see more involved, well, we see... Starlight and, and Billy Butcher go at it. They clash a little bit, and we see different other soups, right? Uh, when they go to that little compound with all the other soups, with the late, with the the guy with the acid vomit. We have lamp lighter. We got the impoding lady, right? But it turns out she's still up. No, she's no, she's dead. Stormfront killed her, I think. Yeah, Stormfront killed her. I thought she lived. I'm trying. To, I think she. 
Cause she left. Maybe Stone from Dick here. I'm trying to. There's just a lot that happened that season, man. But in all, man, it's still a a great season. Uh, that very end was pretty good. Very good. We see more involvement with Homelander and his son. Right, he, he wants to be there for his son, right? Uh, but Becca is against it. She's, she, I remember she went up to the little, the station where they got her locked up at, or compounded at, right? You know, I was like, why is he here? So she does not want Homelander to come there because it was like a certain agreement Edgar and her did or Vogelbaum and things like, you know, that matter. And But yeah, Homelander can just show up and out of the blue because he can fly, he can do whatever he want, right? He's really powerful. But in all, man, season two of The Boys, man, is just fantastic. Can't wait to watch season three. Um, yeah, man, after that, season four just ended. So I'm kind of on The Boys, on a The Boys marathon, right? watch a -thon at this point. So, uh, yeah, man, that is it, man. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, share the video. Do whatever, man. Same for the first one, first season. So that's all I got to say. I'm not going into no 25, 30 minute review. I'm not doing it. I'm just keep it short and sweet. Five, six, maybe seven minutes long. So uh yeah, man, I'm out of here. Catch you all later, man.